Hi guys, I'm George and this is another episode of Take It Easy. Today I will be talking about the Microsoft Surface Laptop. Ever since Microsoft introduced the first Surface, it has come a long way. Devices like the Surface Pro 4, Surface Book and Surface Studio set the bar high and push for innovation. To begin with, this laptop is beautiful. It rocks a 13.5 inch pixel sense display, the bezels are thin, it has a slim and light body, it is the lightest surface to date. There's an Alcadara fabric covering in the interior and it comes in burgundy, platinum, cobalt blue and graphite gold. On the spec side we can find a starter configuration with an i5 processor 7th generation, 4GB of RAM, Intel HD Graphics 620 and 128GB of memory for $999. The full spec version will come with an Intel i7 7th generation, Intel Iris Graphics 640, 16GB RAM and 512GB memory at $2199. The rest is in between that price range. Microsoft claims 14.5 hours of battery life which is remarkable. That is under ideal usage of course, don't do any heavy stuff. What is missing? USB-C. Why Microsoft? It costs nothing to you and it means so much to us. For those who don't know, USB-C offers faster transfer of data than any other connection plus far more power. That means you can connect an external graphics card to boost your system anytime. Now that doesn't come cheap as external docks are expensive, but the option is there and being able to upgrade the graphics card on a laptop is pretty amazing guys. But not in the all new Surface Laptop. Having said that, the Surface Laptop comes with a new version of Windows called Windows 10 S. Windows 10 S promises more system security and faster boot times. But that safety and speed come with a cost. That is, you can only download and install programs from the Windows App Store. And that's a pretty high cost to pay. Now Microsoft will give you the option to upgrade by the end of 2017 to Windows 10 Pro at no cost. So let's say everybody who buys this laptop will do that right away. Problem solved. Microsoft Vice President of Devices and responsible for all the Surface lineup, Panos Panay, said that this Surface will be aiming students who will be able to use it from freshman orientation to graduation. That is believable, granted the specs, although there were several other laptops released with Windows 10 S ranging from $189 to $299. You can check out the link in the description of this video for more info. That is a big leap to the Surface laptop, so I guess Microsoft is after a more premium market with direct competitors, the Apple MacBook Air and the latest MacBook. Should you buy the Surface laptop though? Let's break it down. If you're a student entering university, yes, the i5 8GB RAM 256GB SSD version sounds good at $1,299. If you're on the fence between Surface Pro 4 and Surface Laptop, I'd suggest waiting for Surface Pro 5 as buying a laptop with no USB-C at these prices in 2017 is not a very wise choice. If you can't wait, either machine is good, just aim for the best price. If you own a Surface Pro 4, there is absolutely no reason to buy this laptop. If you own a Surface 3, I would wait for the Surface Pro 5, which hopefully should come with USB-C connectivity. That should be the most important change from now on. Next will be battery life, as I would like to see my Surface Pro 4 do more than 4-5 to five hours. Mr. Panay noted that unless a significant change is made in weight or battery life, for example, there is no reason to release a new Surface. He also said that Surface Pro 4 owners shouldn't have to worry about their laptop being outdated before the next 5 years. I do agree with this statement. Once again, the biggest reason to update for me would be USB-C and increased battery life. On the other hand, someone who is happy with his Surface Pro 4's performance should not expect to see any major changes in the near future. One more thing that I liked from Microsoft's launch event was the new Surface Arc mouse. It can be easily laid down flat and it's so easy to carry in a bag or even a sleeve. It's beautiful and all you need to do is bend it to turn it on. You're ready to go. It comes in three colors, burgundy, light grey and cobalt blue. And it has a flat surface on top which you can use to scroll like you would with a touchpad. I really like it. Alright guys, that was my first impression of the new Surface laptop. I really like the design of this machine and where Microsoft is headed at. Let me know what you think. Ask me any questions below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. 
Subscribe for more. Take it easy.